Hello and welcome to PointWise's Tutorial Tuesday where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. Today we're going to wrap up the Assemble Special feature. Uh, we're going to show you the process to uh, assemble a structured block using the feature. Uh, and again that will wrap up. We've already done the Assemble uh, Special for both domains and blocks, uh, unstructured, and now uh, this completes the structured portion. Uh, so if we, if we move to PointWise, on screen you'll notice I have a collection of domains here. Uh, that make up a cube essentially. Uh, and we'll go ahead and get right into the process uh, for using Assemble Special to create the block. So if we go to Create, Assemble Special, and Block, here's where you define the faces that make up your structured block. Uh, now, unlike a, an unstructured block, which only uh, requires one face, the structured block requires six faces. Now, those faces can be made up of a single domain or multiple domains. Uh, and in the Assemble Block tab, that's where you'll define the faces that make up your structure block. So if we start by selecting a face, we want to save that face as one of the faces of our uh, structure block. Uh, and then we'll continue on this process, choosing all the faces that make up our structure block. Now, if we choose a face, and let's say we accidentally choose a second face that we don't want to, I'm sorry, domain that we do not want to include in the face of the block, we can remove last domain and it'll bring us back to the previous selection uh, that we had prior to accidentally selecting the second domain. So if we hit Save Face, we're going to continue this process until we've selected all the faces that make up the structure block that we're trying to build. Now that we've selected all the faces that make up the structure block, PointWise will let you know, or will tell you here, um, if the dimensionality is such that the block will initialize. And remember again, as I'm sure you all are aware, uh, the structure block has to be dimensionally balanced. So we can see here that the block is dimensionally balanced. And to create the block, we hit OK. Now, as I mentioned in the uh, Symbol Special uh, Structure Domain video, and the link will be in the description, uh, this is also a good tool to um, visualize the dimensionality as well as uh, diagnose why a particular block will not initialize. Maybe there's uh, connectors overlaying on top of each other. Maybe you've got kind of a rogue domain that you're including in the faces. Uh, but again, it's just a good visual representation of, of the topology of the block. And here you can ensure that everything is set up correctly. So if you hit OK, the block has been initialized. And now you have a 25 by 25 by 25 block. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line below or connect with us via Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.